Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, it's Shaitan here from Double Cube and welcome back to part 2 of creating the Nintendo Switch in Illustrator. If you haven't seen part 1, make sure to check that out in the description before you start off with part 2. So I'm gonna assume that you guys have finished part 1 and without further ado, let's get started. So now comes the tough part is to create the joystick. So let's create a circle and I'll just click and we want this to be 40 by 40. All right, so let's zoom in a little over here. And I'm gonna go and set this to 1A, 1A, 1A. Click on enter. Now let's make a copy of this again by pressing Control C, Control F. And come over here to the transform and the width and the height. And the width and the height, we're gonna set it to 38 by 38. I'm gonna select double click to change the color. We're gonna set this to 333333. Click on enter. Okay. Now we're gonna select this, make a copy of pressing control C, control F, and make a copy again by pressing control F, which is gonna make two copies. Hold down shift and just move this down once. Or if it moves too much, all we gotta do is just move it out by, you know, by pressing the down arrow key. So one, two, three, four, five. Or let's move it up four. Doesn't have to be five. And then we can select this one, hold down shift, select this one. And let's come over here to the Pathfinder and choose minus front. And this one that we created, uh, I'm gonna go and change the color to 4D, 4D, 4D. And there we go. Okay, so let's enhance this a little bit more. So let's select the middle one. Press Control C, Control F twice. Okay, right, we have two copies. Now we're gonna move this down 15 pixels. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's select this one and the one which we created. And let's click on minus front. We're gonna select this one and change the color to 363636. Three, three, click on enter. So now we have kind of a different little small shade, which is a pretty small detail. Okay, so now we're gonna go and create a new circle. And this is gonna be 30 by 30. And we are going to go and set uh, the color, the stroke actually, to the same color as well. Uh, which is going to be 1A, 1A, 1A. Uh, we want the fill to be the same color as well, 1A, 1A, 1A. And we'll go ahead and place it in the center of the entire thing. Oh, we can select this, select the one that's in the outer, go to align, align this to the key object. Now when you choose key object, uh, you're going to see this one is more thicker. So that's become this. that's because this is the key object, but that's not what you want. You want to select this one as the key object and now go to uh, align, uh, you know, align to key object and we can vertically and horizontally align this and that's looking perfect. Actually, we don't need this, the fill, so let's just click to get rid of the fill. There we go. And now we're going to go and select the pen tool and we're going to go and just create two lines. So just click over here and over here. We're just going to create this line. Press escape to create a new selection. Uh, we can select this, hold down, shift and alt and just bring this down like so and let's do the same thing over here let's like this one shift and let's move this and alt and move it over to the side now we need to give some real shadow to this button so i'm going to create a new circle this is going to be 40 and 40 click on enter and uh no stroke the fill is going to be pure white okay and we're going to go and place it right over here in the center and we're gonna move it to the back completely. So we're gonna, you know, just hold down control and move this and press the left square bracket key to keep moving it over to the back. And we're gonna go come here to the appearance and set the opacity of this to 20. And there we go. Now let's select all this and let's press control G to group them and let's move it up over here. Now let's actually select uh, this one, right click and choose ungroup. We can select this and set this to black actually and we can make a copy of this again just holding down alt and let's move it over to this side there you go now maybe the circle is too down uh, with a lot of shadow so let's ungroup and you know just let's just move this up a little bit something like that let's do the same thing over here right click choose ungroup let's select this one and move this up a little bit so now let's go ahead and create the buttons so I'm going to grab a new circle, ellipse, and just click. And the width and the height is going to be 17 by 17. Click on OK. Let's bring this over and let's zoom a little bit close. All right. So 
So now let's make a copy by pressing Control C, Control F. And uh, I'm gonna bring this down three times. So one, two, three. And I'm gonna select the one at the back and make a copy of that again by pressing Control C, Control F. Now I'm gonna select that one and I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna pathfinder and choose minus front. So now we have this uh, shape. Now the color for the one at the back is gonna be three, 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 three. And uh, this one is going to be 4D, 4D, 4D. And it kind of looks something like this. I'm gonna select this one, the one which is the complete circle, make a copy of pressing Control C, Control F. And we're just gonna bring it down a couple of times. So something like that. And uh, we're gonna go and change the color of this to a pure black, right? And make sure this is beyond everything. So right click, arrange and choose send to back and going to the appearance and setting the opacity down to 20, we have this nice shadow effect, All right? So once we have this, we can go and make copies of this. So select everything, press Control G to group them, hold on Alt and Shift, and let's drag them down like so. Select this again, uh, hold down Shift, just hold on Alt, and we can put this somewhere over here. Hold on, Shift and Alt and move it over to this side. So we kind of want them to be together. Okay, so now we can create the triangle. So let's go and create the polygon tool. And uh, let's just select. And we're gonna set the sides to three. Reduce down the radius to something like 10. Okay, that's pretty big, but that's okay. We can just shrink it down. Select it and uh, shrink it down. There we go. Now the color for this is gonna be 4D, 4D, 4D. Okay. So I'm a little closer, we want this to be a little bit more small, a little bit more. And I'm gonna place this right over here in the center. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and then just move it up by one pixel and set the color of this to, uh, you know, the complete black. Now I'm gonna select these two, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and I'm gonna go right click, uh, arrange, sorry, transform and choose reflect and click on preview and yep yeah, and then set the angle to zero and click on ok and I'm gonna select this one and then put this down over here and then we're gonna select these two again pressing ctrl c ctrl f and this time we are going to rotate it like so place this one over here now this one we want it to be down like so and the same thing applies to this so the shadow, oops, let's select the shadow. The shadow goes inside and down. There we go, and we can select these two and move them up. Perfect. Now let's select these two again. Make a copy, pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Right click, uh, transform, reflect, and set the angle uh, vertical. Yep, vertical, click on OK. And then just hold down Shift and move these guys over to this side. Make sure you select both. All right, like so. All right, so now we have these four buttons. Let's select everything, press Ctrl G to group them. And we can just select all of them and bring it down somewhere over here. Okay, so once we have this, we can select all of this, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and we're gonna drag it over to this side. We're gonna have the letters instead of the triangles. So let's go and grab in our text tool. So press T on our keyboard. And okay, we're just gonna type. And let's grab the letter X. Now you can use any sans serif font or actually any font, it doesn't even matter. So let's select it. And I'm gonna come down, let's see what fonts I have. Let's go with modern sans, all right? Okay, just anything, doesn't matter. Now the color for this is gonna be A, B, A, B, A, B, okay? It's gonna be more of a beige color. We're gonna put this right over there. Make sure we shrink it down, hold down shift. Okay, let's make a copy. Uh, let's just hold down Alt and bring it, uh, bring it down. And uh, this is gonna be X, Y. Okay, so now let's create the plus and the minus sign. So let's actually just go and create ourselves a rectangle, which is going to be 12 by four. Okay, okay, now that's pretty small. That's like quite small. And that's because it is supposed to be so small. So let's zoom in. So the color for this is gonna be 333333, click on OK. Make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F. We're gonna bring this down by one pixel. Make sure this is black and go to appearance and set the opacity of this to 20. Okay, make sure this at the back, so press 
So we're gonna uh, so we're gonna select this and choose bring to front. So right click, arrange, bring to front. Okay, and we're gonna select the one which is at the bottom. Make a copy of that by pressing Control C, Control F. And this time we move it up by one pixel, but make sure this time the opacity of this is set to 100%. And the color for this is going to be 4D, 4D, 4D. And there we go, we have something like this. We're gonna select all this, press Ctrl G to group it. Let's come over here. And we are going to place this right over here. And we're gonna select this, make a copy of pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V this time. So it kind of places it somewhere else. And we are going to go select this center, right click and choose ungroup. We're going to select the center rectangle, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, rotate it 90 degrees, hold down shift so it um, rotates in increments of 45 degrees. And we are going to place this right in the dead center of this. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to select this, make a copy, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, bring this one pixel down, set the color of this to black and select the opacity and set it to 20. Let's uh, select this one, bring it to front, right click, arrange, bring to front, all right? And uh, we're gonna make a copy of this again by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, move this up one pixel, and this is going to be 4D, 4D, 4D. There we go, and the one in the middle, we're gonna bring it to the front, so Ctrl, Shift, and the right square bracket. And there we go, this is looking much better. So select all this, press Ctrl G to group them, and we are going to go and put this over here. Okay, so now we just have two more buttons to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this one, make a copy just by holding on Alt and dragging it up. All right, let's zoom in over here. I'm gonna make a circle, so let's go and grab in a circle. And I'm gonna set this to 12 by 12. And the color for this is going to be 707070. And all we need is a stroke. There we go. A stroke so we're gonna select this and just place it right over here and we're also gonna go and grab a star so let's go and select a star symbol let's click points I think we want four okay and let's just rotate and we are going to shrink this down set the color of this to a black and make sure we want it on stroke there we go uh, let's just whoops let's select the star we are going to place it right over here and boom there we go and once you have this let's select everything press ctrl g and we are going whoops we are going to go and move the set now the last button to finish it off we're going to go and choose a rounded rectangle tool just click uh, seven by seven and the corner radius set to one there we go let's fill this up with three 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 let's make a copy by pressing ctrl c ctrl f move this up and this is going to be 4d 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 just like the way we do everything move this in the front make a copy ctrl c ctrl f bring this down uh, set the color of this to black appearance set the opacity of this to 20 percent oh, not the stroke it's 100 and the fill opacity is going to be 20 percent let's select the one in the back bring it to the front there we go now let's go and create a circle so let's just click and this is going to be seven by seven and we're going to give it a black color stroke so let's just choose black and then throw it on the stroke and we're going to go ahead and select this and place it right there and let's select everything press ctrl g throw that into a group and we are going to go and place this right over here I think this is kind of too small, so let's just increase this up a little bit, something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a new layer, which is going to be my background. And I'm going to go and choose the rectangle tool. And then we are going to go and uh, make a rectangle like so. Make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, move this over to the right side. Awesome. Now for the color, I'm going to press I on my keyboard to get the eyedropper tool and I'm going to go select this color. And for this one, press I on my keyboard and choose this color. Oops, this color. There we go. And one final touch. Let's just lock this layer. And on this layer, we are going to go and grab the ellipse tool. And let's just come over here and just create a circle like so. And make sure this is a pure black color and we are going to appearance and set the opacity down to 20 
And there we go, we have our Nintendo Switch icon. So that comes to the end of part two of creating the Nintendo Switch in Illustrator. Hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot of things. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and bye-bye.